That thing's all swole up. I'm not sure I'm gonna breed her. Her last pups are only a year old. I normally wait about 18, 20 months before I breed again. But with her being, I think she's six, almost seven, she'll be seven in May, I think. April or May, come on. With her being that age, I was thinking I might start needing to breed her once a year. Let's get, uh, you know, get as much out of her as I can. She's a really good dog. And, uh, you know, when her time comes, I want to make sure I got options to, to try to recreate her or whatever. You know what I mean? To get as close as I can to her. Only thing is, I got some really good semen on ice from uh, STB's Canelo. He's a dog in Serbia. Only thing is, last time I did the, um, the frozen semen breeding, that shit didn't take, man. And, and I spent a lot of money on that. We spent six, it cost 16, if I'm not mistaken, it cost 1600 to get it shipped over here. Right. Uh, bro from STP, uh, I mean, from STB, he got them, it went half on me to get it shipped over here. That's $800 on my pocket. Then the progesterone tests are $97 a piece. I think I did five of them. I believe he paid for two. Then on top, it's, it's 1100 to have it inseminated. Was it 1000 or 11 I think it was 11 Anyway, it goes, that shit cost me roughly $2,000. And I ain't getting damn fucking puppy. So I don't know if I'm gonna do that shit again, man. I, I really don't. I don't, I don't know if I wanna get in my money. And then I was doing some research, come on. That's the only clinic I'm, I'm close to. And from what I've heard, uh, everybody I know with this breed of dog, they wasn't successful. Not with frozen semen, not with fresh semen or chilled semen they want. Come on. I know a couple people that took some chilled semen there and got it done, but not no fresh semen. I mean, not no frozen semen. Now, I was thinking about going to Arkansas. One of my homeboys is real cool with Mr. Crab. Now, Mr. Crab been using fucking 25 year old semen and getting litters. Man, my man got one. He got one of the pups. Not off of the semen, but both of the parents are off of the semen. You feel me? So I might do that. I might just breed it a truly. Either truly or cobra. I was thinking. Come on. My reason for breeding her the truly would be uh, they both bulldogs. And I like the way the bloodlines line up. You know, truly is uh He's a heavy, heavy Grand Champion Yellow Man dog with a um, International Champion Bishop Patrick's out. You feel me? So that would be nice. That would be real nice. My reason for breeding her with Cobra is a is a little different. It's probably probably sound dumb to a lot of y'all, but uh, Cobra is a bulldog, no doubt about it. Cobra sire was scheduled to go into her sire. At least this is what I was told. Now, I wasn't there. I don't know for sure. But Cobra Sire, his name is King, one-time winner. He was supposed to go into Alpo. He was scheduled to go into Alpo. But to my understanding, about two weeks out, a week out, Alpo's team changed dogs. They said they got to use his brother. Well, King stopped the brother in like 57. I don't know, for some reason, I'm like, man, y'all sire was supposed to go into each other. I'm gonna breed y'all together. Like I said, it probably don't make no sense. What is wrong with you, bitch? She's acting weird when she come in heat, man. What are you doing? What are you doing? Why is you all right there? What are you doing? 